I just heard someone say hey to me. Curtis! Oh. I'm say Curtis! Did it really? Oh, oh. What the f did you hear that? What the hell? What was that? I heard that. What the hell? That was a little kid's voice. How's it going guys? So right now we are on the road. We are heading to Arcola, Saskatchewan to investigate the Arcola Courthouse. We're going to be spending the entire night at this courthouse, just the two of us, and we're going to see what happens when we spend the night here. So I guess uh, we'll see you guys when we get there. Okay, so I right now we're in Arcola, Saskatchewan. I'm standing in front of the Arcola Lodge, and I'm standing here with Chuck Ashenbrenner. Chuck, do you want to tell me? You. It's nice to meet you too. Thank you. Do you want to tell me a little bit about this amazing building? Well, it was built 1907-1908. Uh, um, it was um, one of uh, a num numerous uh, courthouses that were being built in Saskatchewan. Arcola was actually um, a very uh, progressive town uh, for its day. There was a lot of activity there uh, back in back in those days as compared to today. Um, we had the railway running through here, and that I think was probably the the biggest factor uh, that that mm -hmm. you know uh, brought a lot of activity to to here. But they had a a brick brick building factory and everything else uh, uh, just many many different uh, uh, buildings and mm -hmm. occupations so that uh, the population I I'm not sure just exactly what the population is but then but um, I'm sure it was probably double what it is today if not tripled mm -hmm. so anyway uh, this was one of the uh, f first uh, courthouses that were built in southern Saskatchewan mm -hmm. and um, uh, it's um, it has three stories to it. The second story has the courthouse itself, mm -hmm. and um, the third floor was primarily uh, for living quarters for the uh, the janitor and the, the, caretakers the caretakers of the building itself. Can have you yourself? Have you had an experience inside this building before? I have not personally myself. Personally yourself? No. How I, long? How long have you owned this building for? Since 2008. 2008, and you've never had an experience before? I have not personally, no. Okay. But I've heard many people uh, relate their uh, stories to me on, on uh, experiences mm -hmm. here. We've uh, heard that there's been lots of experiences here too, so. Yeah. yeah. So it, uh, it would be an experience for mm -hmm. sure. Uh, and uh, I've just never, never attracted them directly to myself, I mm -hmm. guess. All right, do you want to take us inside and show sure. us around? Sure. Uh, because of because of COVID and that we've we don't actually uh, have been running the building mm -hmm. for a few years now. Okay. okay? So it's um, uh, what you see is we just haven't uh, done any work done to any it work at to all. It? Yeah. But uh, all right. Oh yeah. 
Wow, wow, wow. As soon as you walk in the front door, you can actually feel it. Wow. Um, so each one of these here rooms was used for uh, different different purposes. And uh, we as a lodge have just basically converted for, for, for accommodations. Accommodation. They've worked well for guys in the oil patch. Well, this is perfect. We don't have to sleep on the floor tonight. Oh no, there's lots of beds. In this <laughs> lots room. of beds. This Maybe is we perfect. Got about, we got about 17 rooms. Holy, so. wow. Yeah. Um, you forgive us for uh, the uh, stuff that you see around. We're, um, so uh, this again was another room that was also being used, you know, for um, municipal mm -hmm. and uh, civic functions until they got some of the other buildings built, you know, like uh, the, uh, the original town, town hall. We use this as this kind of a, a lounge area. A hangout area? Yeah. Um, I did forget to mention that um, there are two vaults, okay? Okay. That are located in, uh, one's in the office and there's also one in this room here. Okay. See if I can turn and a light on these, here. These vaults are actually used back in the day, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. So this is where a lot of the records and that were kept. Oh, wow. Um, and so have you do you know of any deaths that have happened in this building at all have you heard of any um i haven't heard of anything personally myself um downstairs on the wall um they we have holding cells okay mm -hmm. and for some of the uh, prisoners or people that were being uh, put on trial mm -hmm. and um and they've written various things on the on the wall, like I've seen my last sunset, things like that. Yeah. Which so you is, think that some of them died in the prison downstairs? No, no, I don't think so. You don't think so? No. I I could be wrong, but uh, I haven't had anybody tell me that specifically. Mm -hmm. Now, um, do you want to go downstairs first? Yeah, let's let's check out downstairs first. Okay. Yep. <laughs> This was the main door that, uh, bef before you enter into the room. Okay. So all these prisoners used to write on the walls. That's crazy. Here's the, where does the cell set? Lock you in. <laughs> Oh, I guess where you're going tonight. You're going in the prison. <laughs> this is one of the prisons. Oh, creepy. Yeah. Oh, here is I have seen my last sunset on this one here. Wow. That's crazy. Freaking days too. <laughs> At least they knew how to write. Yeah, yep, that's true. Wow. It was, it was interesting. I, I had a visit um, uh, from one of the kids of the caretakers that used to live here. Mm -hmm. And uh, they lived on the third floor. And I believe she related, the, the girl or whatever related that they had had experiences, okay, with, uh, yeah. you know, some ghost-like images or whatever. Does it mostly happen at night or does it happen during the day as well? No, I only saw it at night. At night? So at night they'll come out then? Yeah. Ooh, this room right. EVP. Yeah, EVP. What's that? Like, uh, voices like... Oh. Weird. Hmm. Oh wow. No, this is cool.
This was the magistrate's office, okay? And his personal washroom. Okay. The creaking is real. <laughs> Just another room? Yeah. Cool. And I used to stay in this bed. This was my room. I got tapped on the shoulder. Really? In this room here? Yeah. And then... There's just so many rooms. It just keeps going on and on. This is room 304. And then... 305. Room 305. And then in this room, 301, just so many rooms that keep going on and on. All right. Well, thank you so much for showing us around, Chuck. Hey, it's um, my pleasure. I... Thank you so much for allowing us in your building. This is going to be, I think we're going to catch a lot tonight, and I'm excited to uh, see what happens. So, Well, may the adventure continue. Exactly, right? All right, you can end that. All right, so it is now nighttime in the Arcola Courthouse. We're going to begin the investigation. We're the only ones in the courthouse until 11. Shock has requested that he wants to come and spend the night here. He's not going to participate in the investigation. He just wants to spend the night in the courthouse. So he said he's gonna be here around 11, but he's just gonna go right into his room. So without further ado, we're gonna get this investigation on the road. We're gonna shut the lights out and we'll begin the investigation. There you go. Alright, so let's begin the investigation in this building. We're the only ones here. We got four floors to investigate. We're gonna start on the upper levels because I believe that's where most of the activity is. And then later, what we're going to do is one of us is going to rock, paper, scissors, and one of us is going to have to go sit downstairs in the jail cell alone for a half an hour. So we're gonna see who's the lucky one and the Without further ado, let's get this investigation going. We're going to start out with the spirit box, as always, and uh, see what will happen. Let's, uh, all right, let's get this going. Start in my room? Let's start in the courtroom. Courtroom? Yeah. I'm something. I'm something. What was your trials? You knew that there was some death here. You want to know how you died? You knew the information? Oh, whoa. whoa! What the f did you hear that? Yeah. Welcome to something. It says welcome to the hell or something. Like you heard that. I don't know. It says welcome to something. That's for sure. Is that you that we just heard? You want any supplies? I got you lit up with energy. So the yeah. energy start to pick up? Yeah. Sit on this chair here. Yeah. You can have pop a squat on that couch. Alright, I'm gonna get rolling on this. this turn is... it on and we'll begin. Nathan, just sit over there. Right. We'll be loud now. Whatever spirit is in here, 
I want you to come and talk and call out that the angry gentleman from earlier. I want you to come up here right now and speak. I heard you from earlier, the 40 year old gentleman. Where are you? Can you open a door, move something, do something? Can you yell? Can you do something? You heard all this talk. I just, I'm getting a full block of air. Do you feel that? Yeah. Good. So you're coming here now. That's good. That's good. We just got out. We want to know what the afterlife's all about. Holy! Oh. It sounded like it said coming now. You're coming now? Oh, dude. It is like energy. Whoa! It sounded like it said it found you. Like energy, like energy, like energy. Found you, found me. That's good. That's really good. We want to speak with you. Can you tell me how you died? It's the same voice too familiar, right? It's the same voice. Yeah. Are you happy that we're here to communicate with you? I am! It just said I am! Bro, I asked if it's happy if we're here and it said I am. Oh my god, bro, the energy's nuts. <laughs> Okay, what room are you in? It's the same voice over and over again. Are you in room 301? And yeah, there's a cold breeze behind me. I know, it's getting really cold up here. What did that say? It said to the left. I said, what room are you in? He said, to the left. Bring it off. I could feel it right Can here. You feel it? And then, then I would bring this over wow. to here and it was gone. Whatever's in this building, we're gonna leave now. We want you to come out and do something. Move a door. Something. Move a door. Something. Move a door. What the f was that noise? I'm stomping. You heard that, right? It was like right beside us, like this bottom step, right what? here, right here. Oh, f it was like, dude. Boom. It was like right here. Oh, that got freaking. Oh hard. my god. I didn't know what that was. I thought it was this thing moving, but that's what that's I was doing. Was... Or that, that something like something shook the. Yeah, that's it right there. That's exactly what that's I heard. That's what I heard was that. So like, I think like something kicked well, it up there. As soon as it, as soon as we turned around, that's what what happened. Oh that, my like god, girl, I'm getting hit with some mad energy right now. Alright, let's go outside and just clear our minds. Okay, we're gonna go check on the camera now that we've had rolling in.
time has come. We're now going to do rock, paper, scissors to find out who's going to have to go sit down in the jail cell room for the next half an hour by themselves in the room alone and see what happens. So without further ado, let's uh, get the rock, paper, scissors <laughs> on. Okay, ready? Yeah. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh. Good luck. <laughs> Go on, Curtis. Finger pump. Oh, Fist pump. shit. I have to go sit down in the basement now. Okay. There's but I want to take you downstairs and lock you in. Okay. All right. <laughs> down in the basement. You haven't investigated the basement yet. Can you? So it said when you close this big gate here, it's supposed to, the activity is supposed to be increased, but... I'm going to be locked in here with the spirits, so... Okay, so Nathan's going to set a timer on his phone for 30 minutes, and I'm going to sit in this chair for 30 minutes and see what happens, and maybe do some EVP session in this room. Good luck. Thank you. Close the door. Peace. Peace. Let me know if you need anything. Yeah, will do. I'll be <coughs> here. I'm not really going anywhere. Both doors? Both doors get closed. I really hate this. I really, really hate this. It's your door shut. It's kind of creepy by myself. Nathan's gonna be on the upper levels. I told him not to be on the first floor. But if you hear any footsteps, you know it's not him. So I'm going to pull out the an EVP recorder and we'll see what happens when I pull this device out. There's a spirit down here with me. Can you please come and uh, talk to me please? That's a lot of where it goes, apparently. Yeah, I don't know how to turn it off, it won't let me. Alright, hold on, let me turn it off. It's quiet, apparently. Zero cells. I do not need no harm. No. Really. Of course, I know. No. Really. No. Really. No. Can you go downstairs and see Curtis? He wants to see you. Curtis. What's up? Holy f man. 
Is there, act is there lots of activity happening? On the fourth floor. There's nothing in my floor. Nothing on the second? I was. I went down. I started up the second. Holy! Oh, I was getting like five, six different people. I had nothing happen while I was down there. All right, well, let's go up to the fourth floor then. Up to the third floor. And then I got a Jane. A Jane. Jean or Jane? Because I asked. That's where the activities at. Let's go up to the fourth There's floor. There's definitely nothing in my room. There's nothing in here either. I promise you. I spent like half an hour down here. I was getting freaked out because it's saying behind you or in. And it's I had nothing first happen. First it I said, heard, it told me to leave. I heard jack shit in this room. Corner. Oh yeah, you can really feel it in here. Want me to communicate with them? I'll show you. Yeah, sure, do it. I bet you, if you leave this room, I guarantee you, it will stand up again. It will keep going. If you're not alone, go, go stand outside the door here. I guarantee it. Let's go prove it to you. Okay. I don't know if you can hear it. Just stand up the door, you can hear it. Just stay on the fourth floor. Okay. All right, I'm by myself again. Can you please talk to me? Who's the angry spirit? What's your name? Is it Paul? What the hell? What was that? I heard that. What the hell? That was a little kid's voice. That was a little kid's voice. That was a little kid's voice. Whoa. Oh my god. He said daddy. Did it really? Yeah. Oh my god. Why why don't you like when I'm in here? Why why don't you speak when I'm it here? It said daddy. Did it really just and say daddy? Kid for it, I swear. It just said daddy. Something like that. I heard it. Daddy. And like a no kid voice. I heard that from out there though. I heard it from out here. Oh my god. I'm telling you, I heard it from out here. I, have I, go, I gotta go outside. You gotta go outside? Yeah. I gotta stay, clear my mind. Just stay in here another few more minutes. Wait! Whoa! It just said wait! Two more minutes. Two more minutes. Two more minutes. You better said my name. I can't. I don't know. I, don't, I, I think, think it said, said wait. wait. Yeah, so sit back down. Listen to the oh, ghost. Oh, I just said it again. Listen to the spirit. All right, you wait. might as well come sit down. Okay, I'm going to come sit. You stay? You guys are taking too much energy out of me. I'm waiting now. Why do you have a message for me? How many spirits are in this room? Hey, you talk to him for a bit. You know what you want? Here, take this. You light me up. Do you want to speak to me? Is that what you want? Are you friendly or are you angry? <laughs> friendly! It just said friendly! Did you hear it was friendly? <laughs> then why are you angry towards us? Bro, it just said friendly. I asked if it was friendly it just said that. I know. I uh, asked, why are you so angry towards us? It was in the same voice, too, that it was before. Curtis! Curtis! Oh. I said Curtis! Did it really? I swear to you, I think it did. That was another, that was that same male again. Curtis, because I told him, can you go find Curtis? Uh, and can you say his name? 
That's awesome. I think we just did say my name. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh. Wait. I said, can you say his name when you're down? What? You sure don't. Yeah, sure don't. Wait, I need to get out of here. <laughs> For a bit. Alright, so the time has come. We are now going to go to bed. We're going to split up and sleep. So, let's go up there and go to bed. Here. Sleep in this one. Alright, Nathan's going to sleep in this room. And I'm going to sleep across the hallway. Over in that room there. Alright, I'm going to go to my room now. I'm closing the door. Alright. So this is my room here. I'm going to be sleeping on this bed here. <coughs> I also have the REM pod here. Set it there for now. Put it on and see what happens. Yes, this is where I'm sleeping. I just heard someone say hey to me.
if the voice sounds loud. Yeah. All right, so it's uh, morning time now. We've spent the entire night. The sun's up. We're gonna pack up all of our gear and uh, get up, get out of here. I guess we'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share the video. Thank you so much for watching.